गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज रिक्रूटमेंट वॉट आर द डिफरेंट सोर्सेज ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेज एंड डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ डिफरेंट सोर्सेज ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एलेबोरेट ओनली दिस पार्ट वॉट इज रिक्रूटमेंट लेट्स वॉच दिस स्मॉल एनिमेशन फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्लीज कीप दी वॉल्यूम ऑफ योर डिवाइस डाउन फर्स्ट वील अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रिक्रूटमेंट एंड देन वी विल एलेबोरेट इन द कमिंग वीडियोज सो लेट्स बिगिन वॉचिंग about the recruitment step of staffing function to start with let's first understand what is recruitment recruitment is the process of identifying potential candidates possessing the necessary skills and qualifications and inducing them to apply for the available jobs the process of recruitment consists of the activities namely identification of the different sources of labor supply assessment and selection of the most suitable source or sources inviting applications from the prospective candidates for the available vacancies there are two sources of recruitment for any organization internal sources and external sources let's learn in detail about each of these sources internal sources are of two types transfers and promotions transfers refers to the process of shifting of an employee from a job or department to another job or department without any substantial change in his or her status this is a horizontal movement of employees which may lead to changes in an employee's duties and responsibilities working conditions etc promotions involve shifting an employee to a higher position carrying higher responsibilities facilities status and pay this is a vertical shifting of employees which involves filling of higher jobs by promoting employees from lower jobs what do you think are the advantages of recruiting from within an organization let us find out recruitment from internal sources motivates employees to improve their performance sources are more reliable and accurate since they are already a part of the organization it facilitates training of the employees for their promotion it helps in shifting workforce from surplus departments to understaffed departments It is a much cheaper source of recruitment. However, recruiting from within an organization also carries some disadvantages. Let's talk about them. It limits the scope for induction of fresh talent in the organization. Time-bound promotions may make the employees laid back. not possible for a new organization since it will not be able to fill its vacancies internally it also hampers the spirit of competition among the employees moreover 
the frequent transfers of employees reduces productivity and effectiveness of the organization. So students, recruitment means searching for the prospective employees, searching for competent employees and for this purpose various media are chosen to attract the employees to come and apply for job in our organization. It's a positive process and there are different sources of recruitment internal and external. About the internal sources we learnt in, the mod in this module, about external sources we will further continue in the next videos. Thank you.